She's hit that stage where she's now no longer that little child. Now she's getting into the time in her life where she wants to do a cause. She's protecting. Now she wants to take charge. She's almost an adult, but she's not really very smart. So she's starting to be aware that not everything is all fun and games. It's a natural maturity. So if a dog does not start to become opinionated or a little bit protective, they're going to be that silly, gullible dog that just everything is happy, happy, happy. She's been tied. She's been observing things. She's been watching. And she's been taught to alert you when there's a noise. All of a sudden, here was this thing in her doorway. Look at there. Look at there. Good girl. That's enough. Just like anything else. Because she is making you aware that something has happened. Something's different. That would be called a watchdog, wouldn't it? Yes, but she wanted to go outside and she was afraid to go past this. Take the line and walk her past it. Don't pick up everything she's afraid of and try to... It's okay, see? No, no, I didn't do that. I hope I not. I took it elsewhere. No! I sat down with it so that no. she would have a chance to... No. Okay. Now, at a, as 17 years old... Okay, stand up. Now, little Joan is, she, she's just starting to have an opinion, right? Okay. Okay, come here. All right. Now, she's starting to not depend on her mommy. Okay. Now, you just spotted that thing hanging on that chair, and you're afraid of it. Okay. Now, this is how it is to this dog. Okay. Now, do just pretty much people-wise parallel to what she did. Okay, so we're we're walking in and there it is. You t you do what she did. No. No, I don't like it. All right, good girl. Now come up here. Now look at this thing. You're fine. Knock it off. You are fine. You're a good girl. Now knock it off. Okay, would that not just end it right there? Okay. Now we're going to do what Joan did. Okay, now you're afraid of it again. You walk out the... Come back over here. Okay, you're walking out there. I'm messing around. Okay. Go do what you did. Ah, 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 no, no. Okay. No, you're still worried about it, aren't you? No, no. So which one deals with it a little better? Well, the first one did. Get over here. Yeah. <laughs> now you knock this off. It's a lousy spider plant. You goofy dog. <laughs> okay. We have to teach them what to alert to. So if we make a big deal of taking this over and letting them smell it and let it's a plant or it's a purse or it's... A, we have to be careful not to teach them to make a bigger deal over something as mundane as a plant, all right? All right. Um, the, she, she thinks she's an adult, but she's got an immature puppy brain. Mm -hmm. You want to teach her to treat it like an adult would treat it, not, you're okay. You know, you, and, and I'm sure she didn't do that, did. but on the other hand, to, to take the thing to you and... I took it further away so she could come through the door and no. in her own time no. smell it, but I see what you're saying. I would do... now. You, okay, let's do this side. You get up here right now. Now see that thing didn't hurt you, you silly thing. Get up here. Good dog. Now look at here. Well, look at that pretty plant. Now aren't you ashamed of your silly self? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, that's exactly what I would say to him. Yeah. Because we need to teach this dog. There are things that are new that aren't such a big deal. If we start making a big deal over things, we're going to have a drama queen, aren't we? Okay. So if there really was something, and I have to take it, move it, and all this other stuff, um, 
Can't always do that. One has only to walk through a construction area. <laughs> you can't do it. It's got to be just, I said it's okay, it's okay. Does that make sense? Yes. And like I said, she's actually really awesome. Yeah, I know she is. All kinds of but you're going through a stage. Mm -hmm. It's a fearful stage. Nobody likes her hair. She's not invited to the prom. It's just, it's just what am I going to do? <laughs> She's got to start talking about college, and it's like, oh my gosh, all these decisions. I mean, she's at that stage. She's got an adult mind. She really likes to dress up, but you know, those Barbie dolls are there, and every now and then it's kind of fun to pull them out. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's true. I mean, she's at that stage. She's a dumb 17-year-old kid. Yeah. So we can't, we can't let her take this kind of stuff so serious. Your hair looks fine. Okay, I don't like my hair. Your hair is fine. Your hair is pretty. Okay, now knock it off. Get over it. Get over it, right? Get over it. So if it's something that's a valid, scary thing, we have, we have to give it validity. We have to, you know, let the dog know that we appreciate her letting us know. But I said it's okay, it's okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You start teaching that dog, you know, if it is something, let me know, absolutely. But if I say it's okay, that's the end of that. Also, you said on one of the videos, and I think to me as well, we have to be on the same team. Right. She can't think she's, she and I are, you know, battling. Well, this, this fear of that spider plant goes right along with that. Sure would. Okay, so on this team, we are not afraid of spider plants. Right. On this team, we do not jump on people. On this team, we do not pull me to get to anybody else. So End this, of story. This is, has been working really well. Like I take her for mm -hmm. a really long walk every day, mm -hmm. and like you said, I stick her on the leash, and she can't be bad because I'm communicating That's clearly right. and I'm That's making right. sure she does it right and then exactly. I'm reinforcing her when okay. she does it right. So it's really been no, great. You're, you I, you like learn that. to handle a puppy. But now you have a 17-year-old. Well, okay, so my next question is what I've been doing, maybe it was working at the beginning, it actually still works, but it's not what I want. When we approach a person with a dog, which happens a lot in my neighborhood, mm -hmm. I move off the, the sidewalk, I tell her to wait, I settle her down, and I do that before the person gets to us. Okay. I'm standing on the lead, and I just let people go by, mm -hmm. and I make sure she's, she's as relaxed as I can make her, which means I have to be relaxed okay. too. But I'm ready now for her to be a little bit more friendly with people and, and dogs. I would like her not to always have to be separated out That's as right. long as she's been behaving well. So I need guidance on how to do that. Okay, you're talking about taking a child from this nice little kid that you don't, I mean, you've raised this kid not to go up to strangers, stranger danger, um, the child is polite, but comes to you rather than runs off. Okay, now the 17-year-old girl was asked to go to the prom. She hasn't learned to make the decisions. So if you've spent your whole time protecting her, that's great. But how does she then learn to make decisions is the question. Anytime we have an issue with a dog, Especially a puppy, well, not especially a puppy, but a puppy is so valuable when you're talking about raising kids. Okay, this is what's happening to many kids. They're protected from everything, and then they get out on their own, and the first decisions they make are sex, drugs, and driving a car. That's exactly what you're talking about. So we need to teach this dog how to be appropriate when greeting. Mm -hmm. You've taught the dog to be patient and, and respectful of you. That's great. But at some point, there has to be some interaction so that the dog understands how to do it properly. Right. That makes sense to everybody?
And I'm saying I think she's ready for that. Do you think? She oh, she was ready for that before. Oh, you okay. weren't. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Okay, I'm Trey, ready. why don't you get that done? And Trey's going to come over here because we're good friends. Oh, Trey. Okay, now you're going to stop there. Now, if we want to set this up so that the dog is not afraid of people, it's very hi, Patreya. So Patreya comes over and she reinforces the fact that I'm okay. All right. Now she's gonna call Jaeger over here. Come say hi. Now tell him to be easy. Be easy. Now you're gonna back away. Good tell easy. him he's a good boy. Good boy. Okay. So in this way, she's away from him, isn't she? Good boy. Good easy. Okay. Now call him. Jaeger here. There you hey, go. I leave it here, good boy. Now, there were dogs here. Yeah. I'm here. Okay. Now you're going to walk up here again, only you're going to stop just short of me. Hey, Jaeger, come here. Okay, stay back there. Hi there. Oh, tell him he's good. Good boy. Now, she's going to tell him to be easy or that he's a good boy or you know, attack or kill or whatever, you know. She's going to be the one that decides. Now go over and pet the, pet the kids. Frankie and Gracie, right? Easy. Good boy, Jaeger. All right, Jaeger, back off. Jaeger, no, just, boy, walk, just walk okay. away and call him. Jaeger, come on. Hey, knock it off. Now, when you have dogs that you can trust, we, I'm sitting right here, he's sitting right there. Okay, we can teach these dogs. Okay, he's over there seeing the puppies. That's new. As a, as a working dog, his job is to protect us. There's some foreign objects over there. Those little puppies. So this is exactly... There's spider plants in here. Yeah, spider plants. Okay, now, Jaeger is absolutely paying attention. And you obviously wouldn't start this off lead. Right. But by doing, going through these motions, all right, yeah, you're back. Leave it, leave it. Oh boy, see that? So as long as the dog understands the words and he's dependable, Petraea can absolutely just walk around, and shake hands with everybody. The only word out of your mouth really is easy. Easy, Come on. good boy. So she's not going to tell him to W A I T. She's not going to tell him to, you know, leave it or anything. Good boy, Jaeger. So again, he's taking his cues from Petraea. You're not leaving it up to him. So when you first start out with the dog not seeing anybody, now you have the choice. What a good boy, Jaeger. Good boy, Jaeger. You see? Boy. Good boy. boy, good easy. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay, see, this is great because it models what I'm looking for. But, um, well, well, I was thinking it was me that wasn't ready, but I don't think she could do that. Oh, come on! No, I don't think she can because she really. Okay. What I've been, you know, I stop with her on in a driveway, so it's five feet away from the person who's going by. Okay. And I can't say that she's actually relaxed. Enough. Well, then that, you're not. That's, well, the dog is the, dog is the reflection of you. <laughs> Don't you hate now, hearing that? <laughs> Kitty has, a, has taken driver's ed. She has got 300 hours of driving the car with you right there. But you don't let her ever drive the car by herself. So when she's 40, you're still going to be riding shotgun because she can't be trusted with the car. On the other hand, you can't just turn her loose once she's driven a little while to go to California. So there has to be that stretching. I don't think I've been making it. You're not back. ready. No, no, you haven't. I'll guarantee you haven't. If you have a question, I'll guarantee you haven't. Okay. Hi, Petey. What do you think? Good dog. She's doing really well. I think so, too. But it's with Mommy hovering. Yes, it is. <laughs>
Too many other people trust them too much. That's worse. You can always do this. Now, we're going to make sure we've got plenty of control, especially at a distance. Now, when you start doing this, I used a term earlier, respectfully disobedient. Now, this is where you start kind of service dog, stretching these dogs. We've taught this dog she does not have the right to be petted by everybody. We've already taught her that. Come on, Petey. Come on. Easy. Good job. Easy, Petey. Good job. Come on, let's see the trail. Oh, what a good dog. Petey, come on. Come on. Good job. Easy. Good job. No, she's not ready for this. I probably wouldn't let her do this at all because sure she's ready for it. Come on, Petey. Good girl. See, she's actually worried about this because you've stressed it so much. You've made priority not seeing anybody. The fact that you live alone, okay, where do we start making that oh, transition? Up. Good girl, Petey. Better. Good girl. Petey, come on. Come on. Good job. Good girl. See your tail starting to wag? Good girl. Hi there. Good to Hi. see you. Good Easy. Yeah. Easy. Okay, sure. Easy. Good dog. How much more polite did you want for a really good experience? The long line is crucial to success. Good girl, Petey. She remembers puppies. She was one. She's still not that old. She's only seven months old. So we, you know, she she remembers kindergarten. Yep. She's trying to get the food. Is what she's trying. Of course she is. <laughs> That's what you do. Come on, babe. Come on. Good girl. Come on, Petey. Come on. Some people you see, some people you know. Hi there. Good to see you. Easy, Pete. Oh, no, don't go on. Good. Easy. Hey. Quiet. Thank you very much. Good girl, Petey. Now, the more we do this, the more she's going to voluntarily go up to people. So you need to keep a good mixture. Now, what you see in her face, she doesn't look happy, does she? This says, Mom's been hovering too much. You've been too worried about keeping her so well behaved. Does anybody remember what that's like? She's not certain or angry? No. She's been taught that it's wrong to see people. So I'm kind of going against, I'm actually revisiting, because this is what how she was taught, and then you've been trying very hard, and there's nothing wrong with that. She can go back to this. She knows what it is. But she's just like, you need to say she's a good girl for doing that. Because she's saying, I know when I get done here, my mom's going to... Okay? So, it's conflict. Come on, baby. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. Good girl. She needs a lot of good experiences, too. But it's very easy to turn this back on now, and then she goes up to everybody. We don't want that either. <laughs> Petey, come on. Hey, come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. This is a prime example of someone who's really got priorities in the right place, but 
hasn't kept a good balance. There hasn't been, there's only been the priority, there hasn't been any wiggle room. There's nothing wrong with that. She's got to be able to function away from you. Otherwise, it's this. And then she's needy and dependent. I don't want that. What a good girl you are. So if she wants to hang out there, I'll let her. Good girl! Tell her she's good. Hey, good girl. There you go. Listen to that. Good job. Hey, come on. Tell her she's good. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, what a good girl. See her, her demeanor start to brighten up? Because you're validating that she is making the right decision to listen to me. She needs it. Yeah. She still identifies with those puppies. That's all right. But the long line is truly the key to this. Good girl. Petey, come on. Whoop. Okay. Come on, babe. Yes, I mean you. Good dog. Make sense? So it's no wonder Joan was having trouble. She's doing exactly what I said to do for a little kid. That's the importance of ongoing conditioning. This isn't training. They're doing the same thing. This is conditioning. Conditioning is the lifestyle, the, concept, the concepts, the attitudes, expectations. The training is just following some commands. But this adding confidence to her work. Look at that. She's laying right under your chair. And tell her, don't pet her. Tell her what a good girl she is. Good girl. Good girl, Petey. Good girl. There you go. Now that's that's enough. Don't get gushy over that either. Because she'll say, oh, you're all, oh, aren't we good. You start praising a kid too much for doing nothing, then you got just as bad, don't you? Then our expectations are lowered. Because if we have to praise like that because the dog is just laying there, what are we going to have to do when he actually does something?